Hey guys, what's good? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, the weather's getting warmer. It sure feels like spring in the air, uh, and it's really nice outside right now. So I thought I'd come out and show y'all a watch that I've had for a little bit now, and it's a, a brand that I really haven't featured on my channel uh, before. But I've owned several of uh, of uh, this brand's watches. It's a Hamilton, and this is actually the Hamilton Khaki, um, and this is one of their newer models. This is a manual winding Hamilton and it's the all blacks which which indicates that this 38 millimeter stainless steel case is PVD coated really nice watch um, and really surprising watch let's set the time and talk a little bit more about it so we'll check the aqua racer and looks like it's just a little past 1215 so it's a manual winding watch and so let's listen really 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 soft winding feel and this movement is really impressive. It's a Swiss made hand winding movement with 80 hours of power reserve. That's crazy. I mean, that's a ton of power reserve. It's a hand winding movement. So there's not like, there's, you know, you don't have this experience of like, you know, that, um, that, that rotor shaking or, or wobbling or rattling all the time that you do with a lot of these uh, inexpensive um, automatic movements and, and I'm just really impressed by that 80 hour power reserve and like I said it's so simple to wind the crown is a really good size too it's not like one of these tiny little crowns and so there it is I, I can't I can't easily wind anymore so it's fully wound and let's just triple check the time so almost doesn't screw down 50 meters water resistant hacking seconds just a really classic design that's noon and we said it's almost 1220 right there and then it starts up again you know this this Hamilton khaki watch is of course military inspired and it's based off of a watch that Hamilton produced I think during World War II somebody correct me on that's called the hack and it's called the hack because the seconds were hacking and so soldiers could precisely um, synchronize their watches uh, for missions and whatnot. I really like it. 20 millimeter lug width. It comes on this interesting sort of premium NATO style strap. These are leather keepers, PVD buckle, signed. Got a nice leather touch here and the, and the, and the holes are reinforced uh, with some leather as well. I would have liked maybe some more holes further up, but again, a really nicely made watch. Um, the back of the watch is solid, so you can't see the movement, but it's got a little bit of engraving there. I'm just really impressed. Uh, price on this one, it goes for around, I want to say $400 to $500, maybe right in between $450, $470 from Hamilton. A little less on the secondary market. I actually got this as part of a trade, um, a much larger trade for a different watch that I'll be showing on my channel soon. But it was kind of one of those throw-in watches you know what I mean it was a watch that um, the trade was close we were close on value and I said what else you got uh, and the person I was trading with said hey I also got this Hamilton and I said I'm interested I'll take it and that kind of um, that kind of made the deal and so you know if you're close on a trade if the prices are pretty close sometimes you can you can find some common ground if if somebody can throw in an extra watch or, or, or a little extra money or whatnot um, that was the case at least on this deal and I'm just thankful to have it. It's a really cool watch. It's in super good condition Drilled lugs Appreciate that, you know as I get older. I really appreciate drilled lugs. It's a, sort of a it's sort of a, a Feature that's less and less common on watches nowadays. Let me put this thing on the wrist and we'll talk a little bit more about it Okay, give me a second All right, we're back and let's see what this thing looks and feels like on the wrist. It's lightweight man It's really lightweight before I forget, um, I've had some complaints about this in the comments. Let me show you the loom real quick, okay? There you go. Really well loomed, really nice watch. Um, let me put it on the wrist and we'll talk a little bit more. Let me take off this Aqua Racer. Dude, I love, love, love this last generation Aqua Racer. Super good watch, highly recommend. Please check out my review of that watch. Um, and so let's put this thing on. It comes on this really high quality NATO strap and the fact that it has 20 millimeter lugs makes it just easy man I mean you can just switch out for whatever strap you want I think it would look super good super cool on a like a like a vintage leather style strap and so there you see it um, on my wrist and it's just really lightweight really easy to wear and again I don't have that like jangling rattling cheap 
like wobbly rotor that you have on some lower end, most lower end, uh, uh, all lower end basic um, automatic movements. And, and it's just, it's solid on the wrist, you know. It's funny, this movement is really well made. It almost feels like a quartz watch on the wrist, except it's, an, uh, it's, a, it's a mechanical hand winding watch. It's just, it's thin, you know, like a quartz watch is. It doesn't make any sound like a quartz watch. Um, and it's just, you know, like I said, it feels really solid on the wrist and it's very lightweight too. Um, 50 meters water resistance, like I said, and about $400, $500, which is fair money, you know, for this watch. Um, I, I like it at that price. I like it around $400, $375. I think that's about the right price to pay for something like this. I think it's a really easy, easy, really good way to get into not just mechanical watches, but hand winding watches, you know? So I think a lot of people start off with quartz maybe, and then they naturally get just an automatic watch. You know, automatic watches are just much, much, much more common nowadays. But I think a hand winding watch is kind of maybe that next step, and this is an inexpensive way to get into it. The fact that it has a very impressive 80 hour power reserve means that, you know, you don't have to necessarily wind it every day. You can wind it every two or three days and still be be good to go. And the winding feel is really good. And, you know, just that just that sort of, I guess, ceremony of winding a watch, um, you know, every morning, every other morning is kind of cool. You know, it kind of lets you interact with the watch in a different way as opposed to just, you know, shake it to get it started like I do with a lot of my watches, admittedly. Or, um, you know, or an automatic watch or, you know, or like a quartz watch that's always, um, that's always running. I hope you like this quick look at the Hamilton Khaki. It's 38 millimeters in diameter, easy to wear, 20 millimeter lug width, painless, tons of options there, uh, and really good quality, you know, um, at $400, 375 I mean, I love it at that price. I think, um, you know, as part of a trade or a throw-in on a trade, you can't do better. I mean, it's Swiss-made, hand-winding, manufacturer movement, 80-hour power reserve, you know, legitimate historical military background. Hard to argue with those kind of things. Guys, I hope you like a quick look at this watch um, and be on the lookout for more content coming soon. I'm trying hard to make content more frequently. Uh, that's getting tough. Um, I'll tell you why though. The reason mainly is because I got a PS5 finally and I've just been like nonstop playing Call of Duty. You know how that goes. Um, but again, I'm going to try to get back into the watch game, try and get back into making some more content more regularly, guys. God bless. Take care. Be safe. Be healthy. Um, check me out on uh, Call of Duty, uh, same name as uh, on my channel. Please don't smoke me too bad. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. God bless. Bye.